Well, the Browns back at work today getting ready for the Los Angeles Chargers coming to town on Sunday and today was all about players returning and it started of course Mary Kay with Miles Garrett who bounded onto the field as we walked out for practice went through stretches looked like a guy who's ready to play on Sunday. Yeah, you know what? I've watched a lot of Miles Garrett warm-ups since 2017, and I've never seen one quite like this. He had quite the pep in his step. He gave a little wink to the camera, and he was really happy to be out there. This was a man grateful to be practicing the game of football for sure. But the fact that he ended up back out there today, I think really bodes well for Sunday. He's going to play against the Chargers. Yeah, Ashley, I mean, Miles usually kind of stands to the side and prowls a little bit. He's usually not right in front of us, but today he clearly wanted to send that message that uh, I'm back. Yeah, my first thought when we were out there watching him was Miles Garrett is putting on a show right now, and I don't think he would be doing that if he wasn't confident that he would be able to play in this upcoming game against the Chargers. So I think that really kind of just set the tone for his week by him doing that. And Mary Kay, they're going to need him because Justin Herbert is, even with that rib cartilage injury, playing as well as he's played. Kevin Stefanski was effusive in his praise today of the Chargers and Justin Herbert. Oh, absolutely. I mean, what more can you say about Justin Herbert? Uh, the players were just raving about him, his size, his productivity this season. He leads the NFL with 1,250 yards already. He's got nine touchdown passes. He's right up at the top in terms of rating and QBR and all of those good things. So they will have their hands full. And they also, you know, they aren't sure if Jadavian is going to play because he did not practice today. Yeah, that's a guy that, that we've got to keep an eye on as the week goes along, Ashley. But, boy, this pass defense, they don't need to look over there and see Justin Herbert, who John Johnson today said looks like he's about six foot nine when he's behind that line of scrimmage. I mean, that's a fair assessment, I think, if you've watched this Chargers team play this year. And we've talked about they're kind of an odd team, but the one thing that you can count on is Justin Herbert is going to go out there and perform. And some of these throws he's making, you kind of forget that he's been dealing with this rib cartilage fracture. If anything, the only difference you can really see is sometimes he might maybe look a little <laughs> bit more hesitant to run. But besides that Chiefs game when he first got hurt, he's not really like missing throws or in obvious pain or anything. So it's definitely still a challenge and kind of like we've talked about on the podcast that one extra week, that could be a lot go a long ways in terms of making him feel a lot better even. Now I mentioned off the top it is a day of returns and the Browns uh brought Greedy Williams back to practice. So he sounded like someone who wants to play on Sunday. They've got a little time before they have to activate him to the 53-man roster. It's 21 days. Uh, but obviously, when you bring a guy back to practice, Mary Kay, it means that he's at least close to playing, and they can use all the help they could get in that secondary. Yeah, they really can. And, you know, Greedy Williams had a really nice game against the Chargers last year. He led the team with 10 tackles. He had a forced fumble and a pass broken up. So that's the kind of production they're going to need from their back end on Sunday. And he's that kind of lengthy corner, Ashley, that he, you can throw out there on Mike Williams or you can use on uh, Gerald Everett or however you want to use him, and it takes a little bit of the pressure off of a guy like Martin Emerson. Yeah, I was just thinking that watching that Chargers game uh, last week against the Texans, Mike Williams is just so big, and it's like, how are you going to defend him? And I think it's good. You know, we saw Martin Emerson use his length a little bit against the Falcons. We've seen him do it all year, really. But it'll be helpful to get Greedy Williams back, a guy who just has more experience and gives you another threat in that that secondary because of his length. All right, uh, Browns and Chargers, we're going to get you ready for that game all week. You can follow along at cleveland.com slash Browns.